clear. What's up everybody, welcome back. We're out on the water on Sam Rayburn for day number two out here, the MLF uh, Toyota series on Sam Rayburn. Pretty excited uh, to be out here today. Yesterday was a solid start to the tournament. Gotta back it up today. I'd love to um, get some of the bites in the boat that um, didn't make it in the boat yesterday because we could have had a real good bag and uh, probably been sitting pretty good uh, going into today if we would have got some of those bites in the end of the boat but that's fishing. So we're gonna go out there, we're gonna fish hard, and uh, hopefully at the end of the day, myself and my co-angler have good quality sacks and we can fish again tomorrow. So we'll see, but wish me luck, and uh, let's get out there, let's go fish. And real quick, one thing I gotta say um, is a big thank you to GCI Outdoor, Six Sense Fishing, Waterland Fishing Optics, and Do It Molds. Without them, wouldn't be out here, wouldn't be making this video, wouldn't be fishing this tournament. So really thankful to them, and uh, please support those companies along with Buck and Bass, uh, Owner Hooks, and Last Chance Performance Marine if you're looking for a new boat. Um, might rain today, so we might be putting that Buck and Bass rain gear on here pretty soon. But uh, hopefully we can hold off on that because it's kind of humid. But we're gonna get ready to, to do blast off. So I'll see you guys on the water. There's one. There. gonna do it. There's one. He might keep. Let's see, do you keep? Please keep. Oh yeah, you keep. There we go, on the board. All right guys, well we're on the board with a little 15 incher, but you know, you gotta start with, just gotta start with one before you can start upgrading or get five before you can worry about not having five so hopefully i can get another bite or two here pretty quick and uh get some more fish in this boat and then put a good bag together there's one. Ah. There we go. Yeah, it's not a giant, but it's better.
Oh, uh, no, it's small. What? A catfish? That's why it felt so good. I think it's honking at me. There's one. Yeah, there we go. There we go. I choked it though. We just got a Carolina rig fish in the boat, and unfortunately, he's probably gonna die in there because he was gut hooked. I felt the bite in the in the grass down there, and I never felt him take it. I actually didn't think he was on there anymore. And then eventually, I got snagged with my weight, I think. And uh, once I broke free, that fish was still there. So he just ended up munching on that thing a little longer than he normally would have but I can't afford to not have that fish. So he's going in the box. And if I have to take the dead fish penalty, I have to, but that one would have helped me yesterday. So I can't, can't afford to not put him in the box. There it is. gonna make it I don't think so but we're gonna find out Keep you little skinny thing. No. No, but let's make sure. No, you ain't even 13. There's one. Net. Net. Sorry, I thought it was bigger than that, but thought it was bigger than that. Yeah, he's about 15. Watch your foot. Well, it's another one on the Stroker Craw dual molds football swing jig jig this thing's been very important to me so far this tournament i needed to get me two more fish right three and uh if it's it feels tougher to me today than it was yesterday the bite feels like it's changing i'm still getting bites like you guys can see but just it's a little bit tougher i'm not getting as many bites but um we still got Plenty of time. They're on.
ship. You okay? I don't know what happened. I dropped my rod in the water. As you went to throw it? Yeah, I don't know how it dropped. Be a keeper. Keep, please be a keeper. I don't think so. Nope. There's one. Yep, he goes. All right, cool. All Well guys, that's a wrap for Rayburn. Um, pretty disappointed with how everything turned out. Not sure where I finished up at this point, but um, I bombed it today. Um, I put myself in a good position to cash a check with, with my bag yesterday. And um, I thought if I stayed in, in the area where I got some bites yesterday morning, I'd be able to put a limit together quicker and then be able to go out and just look for a big bite. But I kept having to try to get that limit because if, if I had a limit, it still would have given me maybe a chance to get a check. And then I was hoping that I could go upgrade after that. But my first priority, priority was just getting those bites because of how tough the fishing has been out here and um, just didn't end up happening. My co-angler ended up catching a four pounder on my last spot where I caught some fish yesterday. So that's really happy for him. Um, obviously bummed that I didn't catch that fish because that would have put me into into having a check, I'm pretty sure. But um, that's just, it's fishing. Um, it, I'm, I'm pretty bummed out though, I'm not gonna lie. And uh, I gotta get everything put away and uh, cleaned up before heading home. And we got thunderstorms coming tonight, so I gotta get this stuff put away before that starts happening. So I hope you guys enjoyed following along, seeing how practice went and how the tournament went out here on Rayburn. And as always, I hope you uh, subscribe to the channel if you're new and thank you for the support. I wouldn't be out here without, without you guys. So again, thanks and I'll see you guys later. See ya.